My name is Adam. I'm 53. I am a very wealthy man. I have a business started by my grandfather and father and has grown tremendously through my efforts and hard work. About 10 years ago, I realized my dream and purchased an equestrian club. One day on my way to it, I stopped at a small restaurant. Walking into that cafe in a small American town, I couldn't help but notice one charming waitress. Her name was Riri, and she was clearly far from the world of luxury in which I lived. But that's what made her so attractive. Riri looked to be about 25. Her brown hair fell carelessly to her shoulders, and her eyes sparkled with a lively glint. She was dressed in a casual waitress uniform, but she looked gorgeous in it. As she walked over to me to take my order, my gaze locked on her smile. She was so enchanting that I couldn't resist talking to her. Hello, Riri, I said, smiling. I'd like to order a steak and a bottle of your best wine. Riri answered me with a smile and began writing down the order. For a moment, our gazes met and I felt my heart beat quicken. She was so natural and fresh in this world of falseness. When she returned with my order, I asked, Riri, would you like to go out to dinner with me sometime? I'd be interested in getting to know you better. She smiled and her eyes lit up with interest. Why not? She replied, I never turned down good company. Thus began our acquaintance. We spent an unforgettable evening discussing everything imaginable. Riri told me about her dream of becoming a chef and opening her own restaurant. I, in turn, told her about my travels around the world and my ventures. Soon Riri became my constant companion. We spent our free time together, and I even started planning for her to help me realize her dream. I enjoyed seeing her blossom and become more confident. Our introduction to Riri changed my life. She brought freshness and inspiration to it. We might have seemed as different as heaven and earth, but that's what made our acquaintance so amazing. As time passed, I noticed that Riri started spending my money on something strange and incomprehensible. She bought herself expensive clothes and jewelry, but what alarmed me the most was that I was missing a valuable collector's watch. That watch was my pride, and there were only 120 in the world. I would recognize them out of a thousand. One day, back at my Manhattan apartment, I stepped into the elevator and was suddenly confronted by a courier who had my watch flashing on his hand. It was a shock. I recognized my watch for sure. It was unique. I asked the courier where he got it, but he just grimaced and quickened his step. This incident only added to my suspicions. Determined to waste no time, I hired a private investigator to get to the bottom of the whole story. Soon after, photos arrived in my mailbox that revealed the whole truth. They showed Riri and this delivery guy making out in a bar around the corner. It was a severe blow to my heart. Adam, Riri said as we sat down to talk, I realize you discovered something you shouldn't have, but let me explain. I looked at her waiting to see what she would say. The courier you saw me with, he? He was a security guard at the strip club where I worked when I was 19. She continued, looking me in the eye with sincerity. I was surprised at this revelation. You were a stripper? I asked, somewhat surprised. Riri nodded, her eyes filled with memories. Yeah, he was guarding the club I danced at. We met there, and I was only 19, and I really wanted to make money to leave there for New York. But why didn't you tell me about it before? I asked, feeling my doubts start to fade. Because I was embarrassed about that past. She replied, I was afraid you would look at me differently. My love for Riri galvanized me so much that I even forgot about hiring a private investigator. Our relationship became so important to me that everything else seemed inconsequential. I was completely immersed in our love. 
However, 10 days later, I received a new report from the detective. I opened it, and my world came crashing down again. In the report was a video of Riri and her lover still dating and having a romantic relationship. The video showed them kissing, hugging and laughing together. My heart squeezed with pain. I felt betrayed and cheated. In that moment, I realized that Riri had not just made a mistake, but had made the decision to leave me in the dark. I felt alone and destroyed. Our story now seemed like a shadow of what it was, and I didn't have the energy to keep pretending that everything was okay. I realized that Riri was leading a double life. I was devastated by the painful truth that she was seeing another man behind my back. All my efforts to help her and the gifts I had given her were given to someone else. That was the end of our story that started with that meeting at the restaurant. I was determined to end this endless circle of deceit and ruin. Life had taught me not to trust first impressions, but it was Riri who had shattered my faith in people. Maybe one day I will find the strength to love again, but now, I'm just trying to forget this story and restore my trustworthiness, even though it will never be the same again.